worst boat journey of my life. My journey to get here was pretty, pretty horrific and on the way here I was honestly going, this better be worth it. I've gone from luxury yacht to a boat that feels like it's going to capsize with too many people in it. But you saw the footage yesterday, it was so, so worth it. It is beautiful here. The water is amazing, there's no cars, they try to cut down plastic, there's only electric bikes or push bikes. So yesterday I walked the whole island just to check it out knowing that today I would ideally like to run around it. So I got up this morning and I went for a run and I managed to do a decent pace considering it's so hot. It's probably around 32 degrees already. Um, and some of it was on the sand as well, but over four miles to get all the way around the island. You saw some of my food that I ate yesterday as well. There's quite a lot of um, plant-based restaurants on this island. So I managed to eat three really good plant-based meals. I got my appetite back, my voice sounds normal and I'm feeling good. Apologies for the mess of my face. I'm still sweating so much. I'm, I'm literally dripping everywhere. And the sweat's actually making my shoulder bubble underneath the um, damaged skin, which is pretty gross. So I need to get rid of that, have a cold shower, have some healthy breakfast, and then on my way. was a hit workout it's all focusing on the shoulders and the back as well and I'm gonna put a shorter video of the workout alone just below on the same channel so that if you want to go back and try it out you just need to click on that video and it'll just be the hit workout from this morning I didn't have a stopwatch on me this morning so I was doing reps of 12 and I repeated them five times otherwise usually I would do 40 seconds of exercise 10 seconds of rest and I use a hit app to be able to do that on my phone. So I did four exercises all focusing on the shoulders, but actually the video includes five or six exercises and you're gonna need a band, a uh, resistance band to do one of them. So today is the last day in Bali and I'm gonna be flying somewhere new, somewhere that I've wanted to go for ages. 
So my thoughts on Bali are there's a lot of traffic, a lot of rubbish, lots of plastic bottles, um, Changu, very touristic, lots and lots of young people. Gilly tea, no cars, it was all electric bikes. I'm in Nusa Dua now, clean, a clean cut, nice hotels, very, very different areas of Bali. But all in all, it's been a beautiful country to see. Today, I'm just gonna go to the beach, chill out, go for a swim in the sea, check out some surfing, and visit Uluwatu Temple, watch the sunset and then I'll catch my flight later on tonight. So I'm all packed, I'm ready to go, and I'm ready for the next part of the adventure. So I just wanted to show you exactly where I've been in Bali, Singapore, Malaysia, as you can see. So I flew into Denpansa Airport. First stop was Changu, and then I went to Ubud, to Padangbai. A boat to Gili Ti, a boat back to Padangbai. Then a taxi down to Nusa Dua, visiting Uluwatu Temple. And tonight I go back to the airport ready to fly to the next destination. Welcome to Melbourne, Australia. It is cold. my first walking tour of St Kilda and it was a free walking tour so learn that the theme park which you saw has got all the biggest wooden roller coaster in the world and it still is braked as in a man places the brake on when the roller coaster needs the brake to go around the corner so it's manual the man stands there and does it now I'm going down to see the penguins I'm excited Thank you again for watching if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you want to see more don't forget to subscribe but remember to stay happy and healthy